Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you so much for joining me as we move into the Halloween season. It is October and so my readings are going to become more Halloween themed as we move closer to Halloween. So this is going to be a witch's pick a card tarot reading. Uh, we have three different decks to choose from. You may be drawn to more than one reading and that's perfectly all right. That's your intuition letting you know that there's a message for you in that reading as well. So we have the Witch's Tarot with a pink rose quartz heart. We have the Black Cat's Tarot with the tiger's eye heart and we have silver witchcraft tarot with the opalate heart take your time in choosing your reading and again you may be drawn to more than one reading and i will begin with pile one there'll be time stamps down below for the other readings and i'll meet you over at your reading hello pile one if you chose the witch's tarot with the rose quartz heart welcome to your reading so first we're going to look at your tarot cards and then we're going to draw some oracle cards Spirit kind of tossed these out. Let's see. Let's start with these. We have the Emperor, the Two of Pentacles, the Shadow Side, which is the same as the Devil card, and then we have the Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. It seems like that you were organizing something and you were juggling a lot of things. This could be juggling a lot of tasks or just juggling what's going in and what's coming out and this can be energy and I feel like that it has taken its toll on you and you are reaching this point of exhaustion where the more primal darker sides come out because you know when you're exhausted it's hard to be patient with those who try your patience and here we have the year of the wheel with the wheel of fortune so i feel like that you're coming out of this phase now i do want to mention with this emperor it is these very difficult challenges that help you become stronger because you understand more of your shadow side and this very well could be what you have been juggling is your energies. And now it's time to come back into the center where you can regather your energies, ground and rest and restore yourself. Let's go a little bit deeper with the clarifying cards from the Everyday Witch. We have the Six of Pentacles here. So this is saying that help is on the way. And we have, I want to put these in order. And then there is the Four of Swords saying that, yes, you do need to rest and recover your energies here with the Emperor. 
uh, with the two of pentacles we have the knight of swords so yes a lot of energy has been going out to uh, clear away obstacles take care of other people's problems maybe your own problems because if their problems are your problems well it becomes this vicious cycle we have the lovers card here so this could also be uh, some support from those that care about you uh, it can also be a choice too, choosing what you truly love next we have the nine of wands yeah you're protecting your energies and we have the four of pentacles where you kind of feel like that you are tied to a job or a way of making money that does exhaust your energies. And then we have the two of swords, or I'm sorry, the ten of swords, where, yeah, you have just reached the end of your energy. And then we have the ace of pentacles, where you are going to be able to start something new. Okay, so I do feel like many of you in this pile here has been uh, going through, you're exhausted, your energies. This could be doing a lot of overtime, uh, taking up the slack at work, because we do have the pentacles at the beginning and the end, as well as the four of pentacles. So I feel like that some of you are you feel tied connected to this job but you are also uh you're so tired that you are on the defensive constantly okay then we have the witches familiars let's get into those cards, this deck here, for those of you who are interested in the decks that I am using. Let's see what familiars are going to help guide you in this situation. I feel like this card wanted to come out. Okay, we have the B community with the emperor. Well, the emperor does oversee a community. And sometimes you need to delegate responsibilities to other people so that you can recover and rest. And it is during these times of rest where you are reflecting and meditating and contemplating. You're connecting with your higher self, with spirit, with the collective. Okay, then we have the black hound a foreboding yes a warning that your energies are getting thin here you are juggling too much and then we have the stag beetle with tenacity and that's with the shadow side here and uh you're you're barely holding on here we have the nine of wands with the four of pentacles where you're just barely meeting your needs you have your creature comforts but you want to achieve more next we have the run with awareness i think that you are aware that there is an end to this with the ten of swords and then the ace of wands where you will have an opportunity to pursue your own ideas and here on this side we have fairy with glamour uh, be careful of people's nice words they may not necessarily be true it could just be a glamour telling you what you want to hear so with this ace of uh, ace of pentacles i feel like that you're grabbing hold of something that is yours 
and you're very much aware of that. Uh, an ending has come. You're recovering your energies. And I feel like that you have the resources here where you might be able to start up like a bootstrap kind of uh, business, a little side hustle, uh, utilizing that which you already have. What do you have? Invest your time and energy into your resources so that you can manifest that which you desire. Okay, next we are looking at Witches Through History, Grimoire, and Oracle Deck. I'm going to get you a couple cards here. Okay, we have Water with Cauldron. Reflection, Insight, Inner Wisdom. Okay, we talked about that with that Four of Swords there where you are in a state of reflection and meditation. You have the resources to take this break now. Next, we have the Hound. Okay, we have a Hound again. We have a foreboding here with this Hound with the two of pentacles along with the knight of swords and the lovers um i would say that try not to trample over those that do love you because the knight of swords is a card of great energy he's also an instigator of change and with the hound we have fidelity which goes nicely with the lovers but there's also ferocity and conviction here so be kind to those that are around you because when we get tired, we can get a little grumpy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Earth with the Horned God, which is nature, masculine energy, and abundance. I feel like that's a blessing towards this Ace of Pentacles in whatever idea that you are inspired here to pursue. You just have to cut out a little bit of time after you rest and recuperate from expending a great deal of energy. Okay, let's look at The Witchlings, Book of Spells, for a little bit of advice for you here. we look at this wisdom again okay inner wisdom nurtures the skills necessary to see through all possibilities so you'll see through the glamour you'll see through the wishful thinking even if it's your own wishful thinking but you're reflecting you have this insight this inner wisdom we have the four of swords with the emperor and the Six of Pentacles, which is assistance, also utilizing resources. Uh, this could also be a financial windfall coming your way as well that you'll be able to utilize into an idea. Perhaps you are helping out someone that you care with an idea, with their business idea. And it could be that they are using the resources that they have and, um, you know, there is, is this protection with the Nine of Wands. There's boundaries. So there could be some restrictions, especially with that Four of Pentacles. So with this inner wisdom, uh, you're nurturing your skills necessary. So this is someone, uh, whether it's you or a loved one, that is nurturing the skills and trying to see through all possibilities we have this wheel of fortune it's a circle seeing the different possibilities from different perspectives okay the next advice card we have is courage 
Courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. Okay, this is that tenacity of the stag beetle. And with courage and strength, I feel like that you are getting that from the emperor here, as well as the nine of wands for standing up for something that you believe in. And then having the strength to utilize the resources that are available to make this change. Perhaps somebody is doing a career change. Uh, a career has ended. Either it was taken away from them because we do have this Ten of Swords with all these swords in this person's back. And they come to doing what they truly love, what they're meant to do here with the Wheel of Fortune. Hey, let's get you just a couple more cards from the Making Magic. Okay, Spirit wants you to have these two cards. We start with the Abracadabra with wings. This is beautiful. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Then we have self-confidence. This is beautiful with the wisdom and courage, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth. We have this Ace of Pentacles, which can also be a windfall or having the resources to start a new business. It's a new business idea. And it kind of comes out of necessity here in order to grow and move forward. And this is something that either you or the loved one that you're helping out here uh, has very strong skills in, but is also improving through practice and perfecting. Not that anything's perfect, everything is perfectly imperfect. And this is a confirmation I see as going after that which you love to do and maybe turning it into a business. So I'm going to end your reading here, Pile 1. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Uh, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your support. And until next time, take care, my friends. Hello, Pile 2. If you were drawn to the Black Cat's Tarot with the Tiger's Eye Heart, welcome to your reading. So, first we're going to look at your cards. Let's see what's on the bottom. We have Two of Wands, the Moon, and Justice. Okay. The moon can be saying getting back onto your path so that you can be balanced. Uh, the two of wands is something's holding you back, but you're also thinking about what it is that you want to do because you want to move in a balanced way forward. We have the Three of Pentacles working. The Hangman, something's holding you back. We have the Nine of Cups. You want to go after your dreams, your bliss. And look, the Justice card showed back up. Balance. Following your bliss is what's going to bring you to balance. And this hangman has you hanging, going deeper into your subconscious for the wisdom that you seek. You're inspired here with the three of pentacles. Perhaps you are fulfilling a contract 
and that's what has you hung up is uh, some kind of contract work agreement but once that's fulfilled which it will be with this hangman because he will transform from the cocoon stage into the butterfly where he can follow his bliss and that will bring you some karmic balance i feel like that some of you may be doing this out of karmic balance and look we have the magician maybe you're trying to create some positive karma for this magic that you want to work let's get you some cards from the witches familiar for those of you who want to know what decks i am using What witches familiars are going to help you and guide you along this path? Okay, we have the B with community. Okay, that's interesting because this card came up in the first reading in the same position. Next, we have the black cat with independence. Yes, you are longing for independence. I feel like here with the three of pentacles in community, you are fulfilling some contract or some agreement that you have. You long for your independence. It's coming. Next, we have the hair with transformation. We talked about how the hangman is going to transform and that will enable you to follow your bliss. And then we have the crab with retreat. Okay, it could be that you are done with doing some community service and you wish to do something on your own. On the bottom of the deck, we have otter with dexterity, which makes me think of otter box, which is associated with uh, technology or protecting technology. I really don't know too much about them. Let's get into your clarifying tarot cards with the Everyday Witch. And let's go a little bit deeper into this reading. Excuse me. Okay, we have the star with this three of pentacles. We also have the seven of cups. So I feel like that this is you're dreaming of something while you're working on something. And the star is wish and dream fulfillment. So I feel like that there is something that you're fulfilling with your community and it is something that uh, you do enjoy. Next, we have the Ten of Cups. But you're dreaming of maybe leaving something as a family legacy. Something that is your own. And here we have the Nine of Wands. And you're protecting that idea. You're protecting a legacy. Next, we have the Three of Wands beneath the Nine of Cups, waiting for, yeah, this hangman has you waiting. The Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in, and then you'll be able to enjoy the fruits of your work. Here we have the Eight of Cups. It's going to enable you to walk away from something. And then we have, look, the hangman shows up again beneath the justice card. I feel like that is signifying that you're coming out of this hangman state uh, more balanced in your mind and what it is that you want to do. And look, we have the page of cups, creativity. You have been dreaming of the artist that you wish to become, the creator that you wish to become. We have the star card here, which is wish and hope fulfillment. And while you're working on this, 
uh, with the community. And Three of Pentacles, again, does have to do with fulfilling contracts, but it's also your creativity. The Three of Pentacles can also be creating that dream team, that which works in harmony like a beehive. And I feel like that there you're making connections here. And after this commitment is fulfilled, you know, you're still thinking about what it is that you want to do and you're protecting those ideas. That could also be where the justice card is coming in. Uh, there may be some copyrights or patents or however that resonates with you. There is a protecting uh, don't necessarily go around sharing your ideas with everyone. Share them with a certain few. It could be uh, starting up a family business because that can be protective as well with that family legacy. Uh, with this uh, three of wands where you are waiting to be able to walk away from the situation the after you fulfilled this contract you, and you're just waiting for that you'll be able to tap back into your inner wisdom of the hangman where you've already protected or balanced that which your creativity is drawing you towards the bottom of the deck we have the sun card Prosperity, abundance. Okay, let's look at the witches through history, grimoire, and oracle deck. And here we have Hecate with spirit. Uh, liminality, transition, and crossroads. Okay, I feel like that is the hangman that you have here twice, as well as the justice card, because we also have justice is ruled by Libra, and that is about balance. But the hangman is about transition and being at the crossroads. Uh, from doing this community work into uh, pursuing your own creativity. Okay, next we have the Raven with intelligence, deafness, and inner depths. Okay, that speaks to me of the hangman. Now the Ravens were companions to Odin, who is usually quite often, not always, but quite often depicted as the hangman as he hung from the Yadrasil tree and was given the runes and their meanings. That inner depth and that inner depth is wanting to be expressed through your creativity. Now another card flipped over as well, so we're going to give it to you. Uh, Jide Cyan Manger. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but there's a withholding, a setback, and delays. And I feel like that that is also speaking of the hangman and your desire for independence. At the bottom of the deck, we have Mother Shipton with awareness, gut instinct, and intuition. So you're aware of your situation. So take this reading how it resonates as it is. A general reading, we have transition. We also have the hair here with transformation. Let's get your advice cards from the Witchlings Book of Shadows. What advice do we have for Pile 2 as they go through this transition 
at their own crossroads to balance. And I feel like there's a reason for this delay. It's giving you more time to reflect and perfect that which your ideas, which you are transforming. Okay, we have intuition. Okay, the power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. I think that also speaks to the hangman because he's hanging there, getting in touch with his inner depth. Okay, then we have meditation. Again, it goes with that hangman card. Meditation will transport you to a place of bliss. We have the Ten of Cups following your bliss here. At any desired time of the day. And I feel like that brings you to the Page of Cups. The painter, the artist where the canvas is his world. He can do anything. And for a little while, while he's caught up in that bliss of creativity, because art can be a form of meditation and it can tune you into your intuition. And as you tune in and receive more messages, I would look for the raven, as well as your other familiars here, the crab, the hare, the black cat. And the black cat and the hare are going to be very similar in their energies, independent. You're transforming into that, which you may need to retreat, like the hangman, into the cocoon to emerge as the butterfly. I feel like that Hecate is also offering you some information as well as Jide here. Span the major with the setbacks and delays. You were meant to learn something there. And I feel like that with the setback, because see how she's blowing wind at the sails of the ship, well, the Three of Wands has you waiting for your ship to come in. So there's a delay in those ideas, resources, and uh, there's a withholding. You're also drawing boundaries. You're withholding what it is that you do because you know what your energy levels are. At the bottom of the deck, we have clarity with uh, clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom. Okay, we have wisdom here through your experiences. Let's get you just a couple more cards from Making Magic. Okay, we have the love charm, attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. Okay, that's interesting. This could also be following your bliss, opening a path to follow your bliss. Okay, next we have water. Uh, work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Well, the crab is a creature of water. If you think about it, crab is also ruler of cancer, which is the water sign and is also ruled by the moon, which we have with the black cat as well as the hair. So work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. That's what these delays are about. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have breaking bad habits. Self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. Okay, that could be this justice card in balancing yourself. And with the Seven of Cups, it could be that you're having difficulty in choosing where it is that you want to put your energies, what 
creative idea do you want to go with? So you have this delay, but during that delay, you can meditate and there will be certain things that you will walk away from. But through your creativity, you're going to be able to find the right cup in which fills you with bliss and so that you're able to follow your bliss. And again, the, the Ten of Cups does have to do with family. They're grateful for what it is that they do have. And this could be walking away from those vices to pursue your dreams. Okay, Pile 2, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your support. And until next time, take care, my friends. Hello, Pile 3. If you were drawn to the Silver Witchcraft Tarot with the Opalate Heart, welcome to your reading. So let's first look at what's on the bottom of the deck. We have Two of Chalices with the Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Star with the High Priest. I feel like uh, there could be a possible marriage, but I also feel like that some of you might be trying to work something out and tuning into your higher self, your spirituality, to find answers. This is recognition, accomplishment. We have the seven of wands where you are taking the high ground. You're standing up for your principles, your ideals. Here we have the 10 of chalices. So those ideals are attached to your bliss, your family. And then we have justice. We had justice showing up in this position in the last reading. So there is a balancing here in finding your bliss that is in harmony, in balance with your principles, your ideals, and you are setting an example in the world. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Reliving a nightmare, some kind of trauma here with the Five of Wands. This could be from an argument with family. And, uh, there is a practice here with the Eight of Pentacles doing something over and over to perfect it. So you can achieve your wishes. And uh, there's, a, there's some truth that comes at you very quickly. But this is also transformation. This is divine intervention with the page, you know, going after your ideals with your creativity. So some of you may need to protect your creative ideas. Okay, the hermit fell out here. He wanted to be seen. Let's get into the witches' familiars to see which witches' familiars are going to maybe be your guides and help you with this. Begin with the butterfly with fragility. Okay, your idea is still fragile. It's in a state of where it's 
it's just coming into being. Here we have the badger with persecution, with the seven of wands. This could be a difference, a clash of ideals to where you feel like that you have the higher ground. And the badger is a low ground animal. So this could be that attack from those with lower ideals that disagree with your higher principles. Next, we have the goat with potency, following your bliss. It's a very potent, strong urge. Then we have horse with transcendence and justice. The horse also represents freedom. So I feel like that your situation could be fragile because you are constantly getting badgered by someone or something. So you've had to protect your ideas. And with the 10 of chalices, this could be, you know, maybe you're getting some of this badgering from at home. And it's very strong, you know, with the goat and badger here. And you can push back just as much as, you know, they give. There is a transcendence here when you find balance. And if you look closely, she is releasing all these little butterflies right here. I don't know if I can get it. In, but there's all these butterflies that she's releasing, which I do feel is associated with your butterfly over here. Now, butterflies also represent transformation as they go from the caterpillar into their cocoon, into a state of chrysalisness where they are, they're vulnerable, they're fragile. Their cocoon is what all that is protecting them, you, just as your principles are protecting you. But you also have loyal dogs. Dogs represent loyalty of friends. And the Ten of Chalices is being grateful for what you do have. It is about gratitude. The cups are. And family. You know, focusing on family bliss. Leaving behind a legacy. And that could involve some legal maneuvering, uh, agreements, contracts. So take that how that resonates. Uh, I don't see that there's legal issues. I feel more of this is protecting your ideas uh, from those that would badger or try to uh, break them down or even take them for their own. So this allows you to protect your ideas. And look at the bottom of the deck, we have Crow with Sovereignty being your own sovereign, and the dragon with emergence. You're going to emerge as your own sovereign. Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with the Everyday Witch mini deck as your clarifiers for your tarot reading. Let's see what Spirit has given you. Okay, let's start with these. Okay, we do have the Lover's card with the Six of Cups. So here we have the lovers with the six of cups. Uh, this could be a past love. Someone from your past. 
This could just be you thinking of that person. This could be somebody that's also crossed over because the Six of Cups has a little bit of sadness attached with that. Next, we have the Queen of Swords, which is separation. So this is, you know, a past love that may have crossed over. We have the Seven of Swords. This can be a little bit of underhandedness. It can also be about strategy. And with that badger and persecution, I feel like that somebody is doing something very underhandedly and it is causing a riff in the relationship, which could have you reflecting on a past love because this queen of swords is looking at the six of cups and the lovers. And while she's looking away, somebody, there's a betrayal here. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles under the Ten of Chalices having the resources. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups walking away from something. Again, I feel like that you're walking away from this persecution and this underhandedness. Uh, next, we have a Judgment. And uh, this is that resurrection of an idea, possibly even a relationship, because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. It could be that some of you, if I can get this into focus, some of you may be having an opportunity to run across this person because quite often when the six of cups shows up it's an old friend that you haven't seen or heard from in a long time and suddenly your paths cross and that could very well be this justice card a return of karma again this is a general reading so take it how it resonates let's get you a couple cards from the Witches Through History Grimoire Oracle deck. Okay, so they have given you those two cards that just shot right out. Okay, we have the Raven. Intelligence, deafness, and inner depths. Then we have Isabel Gaudi with pride, risky behavior, and slyness. Okay, there's that badger and seven of swords energy. Okay, there could be some of that risky behavior uh, where you have to be very aware of that from air. And you have these loyal dogs, your loyal friends. And they could be friends who have your back from the past. Friends who love you. Now, the lover's card can certainly represent a choice as well. And I feel like that some of you feel like, okay, I made a bad choice. I'm learning my lesson from them. They're not what I thought they were. Uh, how do I get out of this situation? Yes, it could involve some justice, some legalities of some sort. Take that how that resonates. I'm not giving legal advice here. But there is still a balance. Uh, it very well could be that these people get their justice through karma. Because we do have the judgment card here, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like that you're learning a very valuable lesson. You are going to be able to walk away from a situation with uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. This is Capricorn energy. As uh, the Queen of Swords is Aquarius energy. And as you know, uh, Saturn is going to be moving back into Aquarius very soon. Right now, Saturn is in Capricorn, and Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn, if that is significant for you in your natal chart. Uh, but I feel like that some of you might be having some kind of return. It could be a Saturn return for you. Uh, 
uh, or it's triggering uh, something in your astrological chart that is uh, coming back around for you to balance, to transcend the situation. Maybe you uh, were involved in some risky behavior here. And that could be part of the bad choice that you made. But now you realize it. And you want to shift. You want to walk away from that. And you do. And you have the resources, the financial resources to follow your bliss. And this could be, yes, a resurrection of an old love for some of you. For others, it can also be the resurrection of an old idea that you loved. That is connected with your bliss. That is very strong. This is something that you were meant to fulfill. That's why it's coming back around for you. Okay, let's look at the Witchlings Book of Spells for some advice for you. I do feel like that many of you are getting a second chance. There is something here that you are meant to do with your life. And this is going to bring you back to balance. Something that you're meant to bring and share with the world. Okay, we have serenity. Uh, the spirit of serenity brings a calmness to the connectivity of all that is. I feel like that goes with the world because the world connects with all that is. We are the human race living on one single planet. And I think some of that risky behavior is thinking that your behavior doesn't have an impact on the rest of the world or your part of the world. Next, we have confidence. Self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your very best. And I do feel like that your confidence is returning because you've returned to your higher principles. At the bottom of the deck, we have communication. Okay, there is a need for communication. Effective communication builds a deep bond grounded in common trust and understanding. And here there is this misunderstanding with the Seven of Swords and the Badger, the persecution. The Badger could be someone that was bullying you into... Uh, doing something that you're not comfortable doing. And you ended up butting heads. And you're able to walk away. And you do transcend because the judgment card is a transcendence. It's the dead rising. It's a card of karma. And we have it with the Wheel of Fortune. So... It's like you're getting that second chance to doing something because you are meant to do it, to bring something into the world. Okay, let's get some Making Magic cards for you. Okay, we have a flipper. Wishes come true. I love it. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. We have the world card, which is a card of achievement. And we have your ten of cups, following your bliss, the wheel of fortune, bringing that opportunity back around, safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying. 
Okay, the wheel is turning. That's can be seen as a journey. You're reflecting on the past, making, uh, reflecting on that so that you can make adjustments and rebalance. And there is this walking away from something. So there is a safe and happy travel here when journeying. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles here, you have the resources to journey comfortably. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, successful career, a happy working environment, pay rise, and promotion. Okay, I'm going to end your reading here, Pile 3. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful, inspiring. Uh, thank you so much for your likes and subscribes. I appreciate your support. And until next time, take care, my friends.